Hi everyone, this is DOM PDF tutorial. We will use DOM PDF library uh, which we will use to convert HTML to the PDF file. Okay, to save the PDF to convert the HTML to the PDF. Simple, okay, very simple. You can use it. Oh, I have created. So, for to use this, first of all, we will come to this. Uh, link okay github.com and this link you have in the description come to this uh, link and uh, download the DOM PDF okay in this uh, area you can download it okay after downloading that and extract it and your root folder okay I have extracted here example docs and in a folder PDF by the name of PDF I have extracted here and I imported this folder in Visual Studio code here so now I will create in a PDF a new um, class generate pdf.php so this uh, dump pdf will convert the html simply to the pdf so now let's get started we will start from basic example draw this uh, um, options okay we will explore all of them so now let's start uh, the first thing is that we have already have our dump pdf so now let's uh, create our php script Then we will <coughs> sorry. Then we will include auto loader. Okay. Require ones. So we should uh, go to that library DOM PDF. Then we should go to uh, auto load dot php. After importing this, so now we will use the uh, DOM PDF. Use DOM PDF. Okay. Uh, DOM PDF slash dom pdf and after using this so now let's create uh, initiate the dom pdf class okay to initiate that we will write dom pdf is equal to new dom pdf after initiating this so now let's add some content okay let's uh, create the html is equal to we will write some content um, like this okay h1 tag and here we will write uh, hello this is from down pdf to convert html to pdf and also let's add uh, a color to this style is equal to color should be blue okay after writing your html code uh, now let's uh, load html to load the html we will use top pdf and load html and we will pass our html variable here uh, after that uh, let's uh, set paper size for this okay if you don't sit it is optional for you okay dom pda set paper the first one is that we should pass for example size a4 a4 size paper and the orientation would be like landscape landscape and after that let's render html as a pdf render it and after that i'll put the pdf to the browser okay we did this on the jump server server is running so now let's the folder to the browser let's write here localhost and we will go to the pdf class and here we will run generate pdf.php so it has downloaded it automatically so our pdf has created but we don't have the text so let's check it so let's just change these quotations okay i will change the quotation let's save it and let's back here and let's again press on this i'll download it press on this 
See, we have our HTML, which one tag you can use this is from DOM PDF to convert HTML to PDF. Okay. It was the first example that we have did. So now let's add the second example that we would like to uh, generate PDF and show file for you. Whenever we click now, now when we click, we refresh the page. So automatically that has downloaded. So we would like to preview it, then download it. Okay. So for that, let's to the coding. What we would like to add. So thus, just to this stream uh, function, we will add first of all our file name, new file for example, and the second parameter would be array and uh, the attachment it is equal to with zero by default it is one we will change that to the zero so now let's come here and just press on this see by default that didn't download it download but uh, we previewed it if you would like to download it so now we can download it so it was the second functionality that we performed so now let's come to the uh, third functionality to see pdf to a file okay to see the pdf to a file so now let's perform this uh, so for that let's comment this and instead of this this now we will write dom pdf and we will just uh, output it okay output we will use the output method and we will save it to a pdf is equal to now we will uh, save it to a file for that we will use file uh, put to contents okay the first one this method we will use now we will assign a new file generated dot pdf and we will assign our pdf here so now let's refresh it let's come here to the results yeah, come here, just press on this. Uh, localhost. We we'll generate that PHP, but uh, that didn't save it. So now let's check it. That saved on the hard disk or not? see that has saved here okay on the same directory if you specify the path so it will be saved on that uh, directory but we didn't specify automatically it has, has saved here okay see it can't display but that has generated here uh, other functionality is that to generate a pdf file uh, from html file okay so let's create an html file pdf.html and here I will write something okay h1 h2 later it's just a test okay so now we will um, uh, generate a pdf from this html file for that we will use a function okay instead of this we will use a function HTML is equal to uh, we will use file git contents file git contents and here we will pass uh, the path of our HTML file that would be like uh, pdf.html that we have created right now okay this pdf.html so now let's check it let's come back and here let's press on this so now let's go to the new file has generated or not uh, we can display it so let's come here new file see that data has rendered here so now let's change the data okay i will just change the data in this html file i will add three more line to this Control C. Okay, so now let's again refresh the page. Okay, let's refresh the page. The PDF file has generated, so now let's okay. That is generated already, so now uh, let's refresh it again. This page, see it? The line has generated. We just uh, displayed our HTML file and we convert our HTML file to uh, PDF. 
we you can also change the font okay so let's um, add down pdf options so for that just come to the html here so for that we will use dom pdf and just we will use it option how we can use it option okay after that key and value you can pass for example font and color whatever etc okay so it was all about the dom pdf library if you like this video so please subscribe our youtube channel and uh, thanks for watching